Now, emergency managers tell us the FEMA representatives should be here in Arkansas on Wednesday. Now, we're coming to you live on Wayne Street here in Truman. We're on this block. Most of the houses were destroyed. And this house, or at least what's left of this house, this is where a couple jumped in their bathtub with their baby girl for shelter. They ended up right here in the middle of the street, but they all survived. Where the concrete blocks are on the back, um, that's where our bathroom was. What used to be a home is now a pile of rubble. This is the bathtub Jarrett Watts and Jada Madden took shelter in with their eight-month-old Aubrey when the tornado hit. It felt like I was going to be buried alive underneath the ground. It just felt like it was just pushing us farther and farther down. When it was over, the family was still inside the bathtub, but it wasn't inside the house. Instead, it was in the street. We were about here in this general area. Our living room furniture is over there in their yard, our cars. The front half of my house is over there. I never thought my house would be in the neighbor's front yard. Somehow, the family is okay. She has a bruised shoulder, but that's only for me just holding her so tight. How is that possible? God. <laughs> <laughs> Simple as, I believe that's yeah. it. Simple as that, God. Besides being homeless right now, we're in high spirits just because we're all living. Not far away, Brad Walker and his family sheltered inside their mobile home during the storm. He's lucky his home isn't torn to shreds like the one just a few spots down. And we were going to leave, and uh, we figured it'd be safer not to leave, thinking we could just bunker down somewhere. It didn't really work out for us that great. Walker says he'll never forget the moment the tornado lifted up his home and everything inside it. And then the window just started cracking and glass started coming through and the bed lifted up and I jumped on top of my wife and kids and held them down. The sirens, the glass, it was a cyclone of glass going everywhere. I mean, the Red Cross is assessing the damage and trying to help those who need it most. Despite all the damage left behind, many people here are thankful. I'm thankful for my family and I'm thankful for my community and I'm thankful that my neighbors are okay and they're safe. Emergency managers say that at least four people went to the hospital from here in Truman for the injuries and that two people are in critical condition. That's an we've not been able to get an update to see how they're doing. But we do know that emergency managers say they're still working on getting the numbers from all the destruction here in Northeast Arkansas and say well more than 300 structures were damaged and that number is rising. Now tonight at six we'll hear from one neighbor right here about how he had to rescue his neighbors after the tornado hit here and how he says it's something he'll never forget. Live in Truman, Brett Rains, 4029 News.